All right, guys, got a range day here. It's finally nice here in Pennsylvania. It's been raining forever. My yard is a mess, uh, but I'm gonna get mowed today. Also working on this six creed today. We got 87 grain uh, Hornady boat tail hollow points here, and we're gonna work on uh, some velocity node stuff today. Uh, got a target out there, um, got a camera on it. We'll roll through these, uh, these sets here and record uh, velocity measurements. Um, for me, it's three shot groups. Um, that way you can get your average extreme spreads or range, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, and uh, look at your node, right? Find your velocity node. And that's all I'm doing. Groups don't matter at all. At all. I don't care where the, where the bullet goes. We'll tune that later with uh, seating depth. Right now, everything's just 20 thou off a of jam. All right, let's get going with this. Sorry, I had a groundhog sneak in on the range over there. That's why you always go to the range with some scrappers. 75 grain uh, V Maxes. No pissing around. <laughs> Let me go clean this up. Alright guys, back from the range here with this 6 Creed. Now, you saw these cards uh, at the at the range, right, the video. Um, I had to do this in two sessions. This is a lot of shots. And with H4350, freaking barrel gets hot, okay? So, I didn't want to tear that thing out in one day. I, I just, I shot this group in one day and I shot this group uh, on another day. Um, but... Really what I did is, because I had never worked with a 6 Creed before, I don't have any experience with it. Um, so I wanted to run the whole gamut, right? I run the whole, uh, you know, basically powder weight from min to max in the manual, right? Just to see kind of what pops out. So what I did is I started at 39.3 grains. Can't even see that. All right. 39.3 grains all the way up to 42.5. I actually went higher than that, but I started seeing pressure, uh, so I had to like back off. Um, anyways, uh, groups weren't too bad, although they don't matter at this point. It's basically averaging just over half inch group with this thing. Again, this is a brand new gun. I just built this thing. Um, the uh, This is the first rifle I have not done a uh, a barrel break-in process where I'm not shooting and cleaning and shooting and cleaning. I'm not doing that. I'm just shooting, right? And I go out and I, you know, work the, you know, do a do a set here and then come home, scrub the gun out, and reload, and go out and do another set, scrub the gun. I'm just doing it that way. So, and I did bore scope. It looks good. It looks really clean, actually. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of copper fouling at all, actually. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. Anyways, back to this thing. I do have a chart. I'll pull that up because it's just easier to look at it. All right. So, chart's got a nice steady increase, except right in the middle, starting at 41 grains, uh, going to 41.6 grains. Uh, 
that is basically a node there. Those three bullet points in the middle, or those three uh, data points in the middle there are at 3250. And there's only a 10 feet per second difference between those three, even though they cover you know, over a half a grain, they have 0.6 grains of, uh, of powder. So that's a pretty good node. Um, I'm probably gonna do some work around there Although that's a little bit faster than I like, it doesn't matter what I like. You know, it's what the gun wants to do. It's what the gun wants to run. So, um, you know, I'm gonna st I'm gonna probably uh, from here, I will take uh, probably the forty point three, no forty point five, forty point eight, all the way up to the forty uh, um, forty one point nine, and I'll just reshoot those five groups just one more time. Uh, just to make sure that node's true, okay? Because there is error in this data. Um, this brand new uh, brass and my extreme spreads are a little higher than I like, okay? So for the second firings of the brass, um, my extreme spreads are running around 20, right? Maxing out at, in, in the uh, mid-30s kind of thing, which is... Not what I'm used to. It's more like the 204 runs like that. My, my 223 runs like that. Smaller case volumes. But uh, my 243, uh, actually all of my 243 is running the single digits. So, and that will come with time as that brass gets a little bit better. At least that's what I've seen in the past. The first firings are up in the 40s. I got some in the 50s for extreme spread. So there is some error in that data. Okay, because that extreme spread with a three shot group, I mean, we're talking averages here, so it, it matters, right? That's, that's really why I don't even bother with standard deviation on a three shot group, because there's not enough data to make a prediction. Uh, you really need the, like seven to 10 shots uh, kind of thing to have a standard deviation that's gonna do anything for you. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Um, I will take, like I said, I'll take the five groups uh, I'm kind of interested in, probably this 40.5 all the way up to uh, well, we'll do the 40.8 all the way up to the 41.9 and reshoot those uh, and see what we get. See if that node holds true. Um, so that's where I'm at with this Creedmoor. I am going to do a little video on the brass prep for this thing because, I don't know, I'm thinking about this brass a lot uh, because this is a new caliber for me. And uh, I'm just going to, you know, throw some clips together on, on how I'm prepping this stuff. So anyways... Uh, I got more work coming. I'll check this node and then we'll go right into seating depth uh, uh, testing if the node holds true. All right. Thanks for watching.